Hello, 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 Tutal here, coming in, Duncan Search Pride, bringing you another video of Ultimate Admiral's Age of Sail, and it's time to look around. And I'm thinking, <clears throat> I'm, I'm tempted to start putting, dare I say, on our ships, just a Baker's Rifle, or if not, even just a Ferguson Rifle. Because the volley, the, the melee would be shit until I get one of these two, but that would just take way too long. But we used a sea service rifle, what we have, the sea service musket, it's not a rifle, I'm a fucking idiot. sea service musket, that's what we use. However, 0 0.9 to 1.1, sometimes the shot won't kill the guy, but the melee is amazing. And 42 seconds for reload, great. I'm thinking of switching to land pattern musket. <laughs> Oh, that's still 9.0. Or 0.9. Hmm. But it's much, much better, uh. Melee. And it's better accuracy over range. I got lots of land, land pattern muskets left over from switching all my men over. Especially looking like this will be for free. So, what these guys right now use is just a regular sea service musket on the victory, which is a 40 second reload. Compared to a uh, 42 for the bayonet, and this one's a 47. Reload isn't a problem in this in, in, in musket. That really doesn't matter with how long it takes for you to reload, because even with the. Granted, with the Ferguson rifles, we can get about. Well, this one, it's about the same as so. You just get a lot more accurate, more efficiency with these. Eh, high TC. Gotta help him find the uh, mods for War on the Sea, which I might be doing again because there's um, a. a after my long hiatus with it, I'm looking at some of the updates they did, and it's like, Vanilla might not be half bad now. Yeah, but no, having, having, like, the Baker's Rifle, just to snipe the crap out of enemies, would be amazing. Well, ma mainly one reason why I want to switch to land pad is because that melee goes from 40 to 42, which is the best you can get. So, probably switch everyone who doesn't have sea service sword bayonet. Probably switch them to the uh, what's it called? Land pattern. Yeah, and even though it still says nine point or zero point nine, it's you can see the uh, efficiency bar actually is higher. So I think that's. Ain't that an interesting little thing to see? Oh, same efficiency. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch them to land patterns. Yeah, we're gonna switch. That's not very much. I can actually switch to the land pattern here. With the bayonet, at least, because ships cost so much. Yeah, no, the sword bayonet's more worth it. Let me just get, my, get these guys to upgrade with the sword bayonet, I guess. And I guess we'll slowly transition to a uh, land pattern. So we probably won't be able to, given the uh, how much time is left in the what's it called? I think uh, that's tempting. Thirty-six, thirty-nine. Keep this. And now we need to upgrade Britannia here. So three, three, two, three. 
So. Three. Where is this? Stupid question. Stupid question has been answered. <laughs> three, 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 three. There was something with the two. What was the two? It was the sights. Oh, but I get the full fire control team. Ha! Let's do that. Holy shit. Wait, does that mean I can get you with the fire control? I can. Hell yeah! Real good accuracy on these guns. Can I get victory with no? No fucking way. <laughs> If I take off double shot per gun, which now that I have a second rate, I don't really need to overly. Well, would a second rate make up for like a. Well, no, it won't make up for a double broadside of victory because this is basically double shot is two broadsides to one. So basically, we'll keep that. Until I can capture another third rate, I think. Or another third rate. Another first or a second rate. You know, I got a bunch of these back here too, but oh, that reminds me. Okay, so unified carriage. You got the haul. You got the upgrade to repair. Just focus on getting you guys repaired. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so you can't do it without any changes. So let's go unified. Okay, can I use the level one? If I can use the cheaper versions, I will. Are you able to repair, get the repair without any upgrades? Oh, wow, by... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that... <laughs> that isn't, yeah. But you know, that's gonna bug the shit out of me. What a waste, I just I should just use a reserved guy. And you already got the unified carriage, so you should theoretically just Okay. There we go. What's the max you can hold now? So, that's tempting to allow them to board. Nah. You need to get um, bayonets, so. Nope, nope. No, I need not. Alrighty. What's the max Victor can do? Wow, one. One away from 30. How about you? Almost 800. Alrighty, I think that's good enough. But I can't do any more cannons, so. I should be able to get rid of these guys now. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I don't need the, uh, I don't need these guys no more. However, just in case, what I will do is simply this. Put them in ordinary, I guess you could say. Have them reserved. And at that point, it only cost me zero. It's cheap as heck. Well, unmount the guns.
You know, these ships, like I said, they're just sort of in ordinary. Now, I should have stuff I can actually sell here. Like you. 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 Not using a C-Server 38. You can go away. You can go away. I'm not going to use you because you don't have a bayonet. Keep you. Everything else can sort of stay. Oh, except for you. I can use four pounders, and I'm sure it's how I can use six pounders. Lots of naval guns. Six pounders can go. All the nine pounders can go. Same with all the twelves. 18s can stay. I almost tend to, because every gun I use aren't... Yeah, we're going to sell these, because I don't use any of these guns anymore. Bloomfields can stay. Armstrongs can go. I know these are from the... Uh, So, I think what we'll do here is, actually, what I'll do is simply this. Oh, that would be nice to put on them. We got 18 pounder Wolverks. Bloomer's Field. We'll just load all the guns that we can onto this guy. On these guys that and then we'll sell everything else. So that way, yeah. Gone, gone, gone. And then a mount on mount. It, it doesn't look like it's What's it called? Actually doing anything? For the... What's it called? Uh, what What is this called? The upkeep? But... I just feel like that's what you should do. Now everyone can get bayonets because there's a whole bunch of Caesar from Musket with... Uh, sword bayonets. Ready for taking. Hoo hoo hoo, wow. Ouch. Cool, did not see that one coming. That one has better because he actually has a bayonet. Okay. And now, no peril, no glory. We are currently blockading all the French ports to prevent departure or build up of the French armies that can that are uh, gathering to invade England. A French convoy carrying supplies has been spotted and your ships are currently moving to engage him. Mm. God, I love my coffee. Keep thinking I have work today, but I don't. Duck hunting. He that lives upon hope will die fasting. I have victory and minotaur here with lady and purple sovereign. We'll have Britannia lead uh, Spartan, Remelies, in defense. All this is all heavy ass guns. We've got some new, 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 new ships here in the back, but and same with uh, Britannia. We have divided our ships in two groups to patrol a larger area. Both groups are arranged so as to block any attempt to break through the coast from the sea. What do we got? We're in luck. We spot a French convoy trying to slip closer to the shore. 
No frontage from passing through at all costs. All right, I see a first rate. I just sell two first rates. Third rate, fifth rate, first rate victory. Mm. Right, I should put both the. Did you not fully recruit crew? Well, you're fine. And another first rate. I should have put the two second rates over here because the two second rates could have could deal with that first rate. But I only got one second rate over here. Oh. Destroy or capture. Destroy or capture. Oh, another guy come. Well, I'm gonna destroy these since I don't want them because they're the armed merchants, so they can't carry as much, and I don't need them. So uh, let's figure this one out. Yeah, I kind of want to fucking restart, but nah. Uh, the wind, actually, with the way the wind is going, defense can. Wait, not defense. I don't want. You're not second rate. Uh, where is the second? Oh, this is the back. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Minotaur. Given that when Ken full sail her way and start rushing towards the aid of this ship fleet here, I'm gonna have defense form up on Ramleys, Ramleys form up on Spartan, and Spartan, you're going to. What we're going to do is we're going to actually come around like this. That's what you're gonna do. Britannia, you're gonna hold course and prepare to engage that first rate. I'm gonna have. Purple Sovereign and Solitude form up here. But you know, I'm gonna have, actually I'm gonna have Purple Sovereign form up on. But you're gonna have them all just turn like this. Now you should turn this way. No, this way, this way will do. While Victory, you're ready to take on that ship on the line alone. 112 guns to 100 to another victory class. So I think we can beat them. Is this guy also a victory class? Yeah, he is. Okay. It's not technically a victory class. It's just a style of ship, you could call it. And it's like they somewhat have the wind, but this thing is going to be very slow. I think we'll have. Yeah, I think the other third race can easily deal with these two. Easy, 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 easy. Especially since these are the heavy gun to third rate and these only have a uh, 24 pounders on the bottom if, and that's not my ships either these have the 32 pounder guns on the bottom victory come on get out of the way okay form up with solitude so let's see if you can come on come on down that line of bearing I would AI this, just have them say, okay, you're, that's your goal to attack. AI is A, B, C, and D, but. Okay, the best way for you to sail is this way. Yeah, Britannia, for your first engagement, you are going to be tanking a ship of the line first rate. I'm confident you can do it. Actually, what I could do, given these guys' position, I could actually try and come around behind. Have yeah, you turn this way, sort of come back like this, and then go that way. I want you closer, because you can deal with them. Where's victory? Uh, 
I don't know what they're doing. They're going very slow, which is to be expected. So let's see. We got destroy. All. Yeah. I think I did a volley from a second. We'll just destroy this thing. Yeah, you don't have... Uh... Okay, so you do have the 32 pound of carrying it. I did put that on your top deck. So there is that. I mean, I can't use my victory as a statistic, but they should be it should be 12, 12, 24, and 32, I believe. Because my victory is way overgunned. Well, overgunned. It's a heavy ass broadside. It's a, you know, page out of the American Navy book. Did the phone just go off? Yes. Mm, yes. Gee, I think I could probably, given that the wind is pushing this way, I'm thinking. I wonder if I can try and quickly get the fleet behind them. I can easily out. I can easily chase a merchant ship. Merchant ship is not going to get away. It doesn't matter. So if it gets to the point where they're separate. If I can get the rich ship separated, I'll just break off a third rate and have the third rate chase him down. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Britannia because I can also repair my hull. Should be able to hold on a uh, concurrent long enough for a Minotaur to come in. Victor, I need you to go this way now. Uh, the enemy fleet's over here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about victory. That's your target. You will shoot at targets of opportunity. Preferably this guy when you come along the side. Actually, if you want, you can try and shoot the uh, merchant ship. So you just shoot whoever you feel like it, actually. And then once you get behind, I'll have you come up and uh, start blasting apart Franklin. Or I might have your other two blast apart Franklin. I'll have and I'll break you off to ha attack a cornea, Cor Cornola. Another first rate? No, third rate. Third rate, third rate. Merchant. <coughs> okay, you got carronade, so you need to get you need to get close. Yeah, Victor, you're in a good position to start getting closer already. Okay, we got long range coming, that's for damn sure right now. Plunging fire. Damn sure some guys haul. How much I can do about these guys until I get windward, basically down this way, and then come around. Or I get behind it. That's gonna be a tricky one to stop. All must be fulfilled. Copy. It's some damage, and I'll, I'll take it. We'll give Britannia just that slight little edge. It might be a point zero zero one edge, but it's still an edge nonetheless. Okay, those aren't going to do anything. Those upper guns, those aren't going to do anything. Uh, I say that, and somebody does two damage. 
which against numbers like that, not a lot, but it's something you actually. There's a little bit of an end over here on this one. A little bit. Not game changing. I'm just a major fucking hitting the goddamn thing. I'm gonna be honest. That's like max range, whatever the heck it is. If I can get you to pass in between, that's just mean. Maybe I could capture one. He also shot it too. Oh, you took out a cannon. Awesome. That should help even a little bit more. A lot of crew members. I'm not sure how I want to deal with this. Okay, you are... I'm not sure how I want to deal with these guys. I'm fairly certain Victor could take on that fleet alone. Matter of fact. Start loading double. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go AI control. Well, no. I think what we're going to do is gonna, I'm going to have you come like this. Or... No, we're going to keep going like this. We're going to come around this way and then try and turn. You keep it up. Keep it up. And now you guys are actually in a very horrible position because of... I did not think that through. I really did not think that through thinking about it because I have the way I have to turn. Hold fire on that side until I give the word because I don't want to have a chance. You're going, what, 4.1 knots? Well, that's you with this way on the wind. I should technically be able to, uh, just keep getting long range volleys out. Although, for, okay, yeah, I know I need you on this side because that's where all the shells are hitting. Shells? <laughs> Cannonballs are hitting. Okay, I want you to be very careful because we're going to have a friendly ship crossing your line of fire in a few seconds. Double shot would actually be very useful right here. 90 guns to 112 guns. It's a lot different, but... I think she's doable, especially when we get the other... Uh, man once Minotaur gets into the fight here. I'm really hoping for a wind change. Over here, that's where the magazine is. Stand by. Stand by. Oh, you fucked up. Oh, you fucked up. You had canister loaded. Granted, you sh killed 36 of my men. Hey, yeah, that works. 
Oh, I'll just go to AI control. There's, I'll have you deal with that one. Yeah, you can actually have an inward angle. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up hard. Actually, he's gonna hurt my crew very much, actually, thinking about it. Imagine now, look at his armor. I think his ship is gonna fail before uh, my crew break. This is a green crew, so they have to deal with this morale-breaking shit pretty damn hardly, but... Because they ain't got no uh, the bonuses. And I lost one gun. This is going to be a miserable thing to try and replace. Alright, have fun. Let it rip. Well, now you're... Okay, well... You were killing my crew, now I'm going to slaughter the shit out of your crew in a second. Pause it for a second, because I'm missing victory and what's going on with victory. Okay, well, repair, repair. Gee, yeah, I know. Keep shooting that thing. You're gonna have to deal with a fresh side, but if they're only using canister, it shouldn't be a problem. I don't. I only gotta worry about replacing crew members. This is definitely an interesting conundrum. What thing's going on over here? Not the worst. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That's a hurtful wind change. For victory, at least. For, for actually, for my fleet, however, the rest of my fleet. That's not too painful. Let's definitely, it's not too painful. Mentors have a little bit more of a problem trying to catch up. But that's far from real pain. Actually, I have an idea. Ain't gonna be a problem no more. How's that working? Not as well as I had hoped, but it's something. I 
Only well, your second rate has better sailing capabilities than the enemies. So third rate. You see Victory slowly trying to close in. This is like the worst for victory. Yeah, well, she's dead. Ignore her. Move on to the next. You got the emergency ship right there. Britannia, come around. You gotta go help him with the help Minotaur with the uh, first rate. Done. Oh, he switched to round shot. Hmm, that's the raking, like what, three raking shot hits? Hold fire on the right. I think if I had like grape shot loaded right now, it'd be very useful. You know what? Load some grape shot. See how you like it. Especially after what's going to happen to you here in a few seconds. Uh, looks like she's probably going to outmaneuver me here. Just stop your turn. Stop turning. Don't turn too much. Stop. You stop now. Good. Hey, she actually listened. Yeah, this is Manator, my upgraded ship. Crew who have experience. And who says you need grape shot to slaughter crew members? <laughs> now, the trick is to, uh... Pause it for a second, see how this is going. You're in a very good position. Yeah, the, these, uh, Belleron... What do I think they are? Yeah. Bellarona class. Easily slaughter these other third rates. It's, it's, it's no competition. Oh god, it's just... This is just so painfully slow. Yeah, just keep the morale down. Attempt to keep the morale down. You can definitely see the difference between the uh, crew quality here, for sure. Go quickly. Uh, Minotaur can control her thing while Britannia is a little slower. She, oh, she fold sailed. Well, that victory didn't give two shits about that. Hold fire on the left side until I give the word. Victory, swing her around. Go deal with that. I think I can have you. Oh yeah, that 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 ship's dead. Definitely an interesting fight, to say the least. Definitely an interesting. Okay, who surrendered? Ah, uh, you're dead. Hmm, there's a whole thing, a line. See if you can take that guy out, he has more damage. Okay, this is gonna hurt Minotaur probably. A little 
a friendly fire. Ow. Here, you hold. You do. You, you, you maintain that low sail. Minotaur, you're gonna come around and just continue. Your turn to now, uh, basically fight her with dueling. That would make her surrender right there. From a line. Okay, that I that that I just have to take. That ship no longer exists. Oh, oh, give me, give me. Victory! Unleash! Victory. Ho 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 line of ships here. Speaking of that, you need a repair and you need to catch the fuck up. Yeah, that just dropped him to 8888. <laughs> Next round of Ollie. Oh, I guess those guns couldn't reach the other guy. Just keep it up. Uh, I think this ship is going to... Oh, she lost a mast. She's probably going to sink, though. Victor's on fire. Well, I'm, I Ooh. How many crew just decided to go die in a second? Let's go pause. Let's see how this is going. You're still winning, even though you're pretty much fighting two on one. Well done. You're dead. That ship in line is gone. Okay, we can almost ignore her now. In fact, that was victory. I almost want to stop to try and capture it, like I said. However, just the possible risk is just too freaking much. That was a full volley. I didn't do shit, but. Once this shoots, we'll go to regular round shot. Well, I could finish it, but there's points to be earned. Actually, hang on. If I could, if, we, if I could get victory to get this guy to surrender. This guy needs to get the fuck out of my way. 
thank you. If I could cause this guy to surrender, I could finish the mission and then... Unhappy days for you. There's a first, second race here trying to catch up. Just don't blow up the magazine, please. Do much. <coughs> I wonder if canister would be good. You know, we'll switch to canister here in a second. Or a correction, grape shot. Depends on armor condition. Well, it's not too good, so. Wow, you just slaughtered that guy. That condition is the crew just being very tired. Okay, switch back around. It's, it's not doing what I thought. That guy's sinking now. Surrender! Surrender, you fuck! She's going six knots backwards. I just like to point that out. First engine went six knots backwards in a sailing ship. Yep, kind of figured that was happening. Victory, come on, make her surrender. Make her surrender. Uh, go for the boarding. That ain't gonna happen. Surrender, you fuck. Oh, now I'm on fire.
You either surrender or die. There is no in between. You are not escaping. Now fucking die! Yes, finish! Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, another first rate about fucking time! God! Whew! Victory is a goddamn monster. Bullshit, eight for repair. Damn. No, the crew lost on Britannia. Oof. One. One dollar, really? Eat shit. Where are you? Yay! Another. F yeah, God, no wonder why Victory just slaughtered the shit out of him. Yes, I am adding that to the fleet. Ugh, that repair cost dope. I check out. Well, I got crude repair. Ooh, lots of, lots of uh, captured too. Buy another third rate, but fuck that. I got a first rate now, bitches. We'll figure out what to name it in a second. Duck hunting, the French convoy, redirected. It's been re it has been redirected. It's at the bottom of the ocean. What? We have received reports that a major convoy is on its way from the Americas under heavy escort. France must be growing truly desperate to risk so many ships in one place. We must ensure this convoy is... Well, it looks like there's a lot less ships to be brought in, four to four. But now, I got another first rate. Aquilin, is that its specific name for a French ship or is that just... The Quillen, just a French name. Let's see. Uh, Q U I L O N. Wev Weatherlight? Okay. No, we'll just take what we armed. Actually, I don't think we can. Can I, can I, Culver's 42 pounder reboard French? Can we? Wait. I got the long guns. Cheese. That's tempting. And for now, we'll just do that. No, that's pretty much what the victory has. Because we can't almost have enough to use all these. But no. That's tempting, but no. Oh my god, I can only get these guys to. Oh shit! That is terrifying. Five, six, seven, eight. That would be enough. That is utterly terrifying. Ho 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 ho. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. This is Two Talks, and thank you for joining me on this let's play of Ultimate Admirals Age of Sail. We got ourselves a new first ray. I almost said dreadnought. Stay safe, and as always, have an awesome, awesome day.